Hello, hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to manage updates of Microsoft Edge via Microsoft Intune. This video is going to be quite short, definitely shorter than the usual videos, because it's just about updates of the web browser via Microsoft Intune, which is a super simple configuration. But the reason for showing you this is the fact that web browsers in general are usually the gateway to the internet for your users, for your employees. That's the reason why it's very important to manage updates of your web browsers. Not only Microsoft Edge, but obviously if you use other web browsers too, you should manage those updates as well. Because if there is a vulnerability in the web browser, then it might be abused via some malicious code on some website. So it's usually quite easy target for threat actors. That's the reason why it's very important to keep your web browsers updated. The problem is that even though web browsers usually have a built-in automatic update mechanism, the updates are usually not enforced. So users can usually postpone the updates. Users can usually just keep their web browser running all the time because they don't even shut down the computer. And the, brow the browsers will not be then updated because it's just running, it's never restarted. So it's quite important to enforce automatic updates on your corporate machines so that you ensure that your machines web browsers are updated and don't contain vulnerabilities or at least known vulnerabilities. All right, let me show you how to configure automatic updates for Microsoft Edge by Microsoft Intune. So we are here in the Microsoft Intune Admin Center and we go to Devices, Windows, Configuration Profiles and we create a new configuration profile here. The platform will be Windows 10 and later, and profile type will be settings catalog. We name the profile, for example, edge updates, and we create the settings that will configure automatic updates for Microsoft Edge. So let's click this add settings button and scroll down in this list to Microsoft Edge update. When we expand it, we see that there are multiple uh, subfolders here for applications where you can configure update settings for each update channel or each Microsoft Edge channel. So for the production channel, beta channel, canary channel and dev channel. The good thing is that when you configure updates here in the parent folder, it's also applied to all subfolders, so all of the channels. So if we configure this update policy override default, it will be then inherited to all of the edge channels. Unless, of course, you want to configure a different setting for some of the channels. But if you want to have the same setting for all channels, you can just configure the setting here in the parent folder and it will be applied to all of the channels. But if you want to, for instance, different edge beta differently, uh, manage edge uh, beta differently, you can go here, check this update policy override and it will then configure a specific policy for edge update beta channel. Then we should also configure updates of Microsoft Edge Web View. Here in Preferences, we have General Settings and we should also configure Proxy. These are the four settings that you at least should configure in your environment. Proxy setting. Even if you don't use a proxy server, you should configure it. The reason for that is that when you configure it, it's actually enforced. So that with that, you ensure that it cannot be changed manually and there cannot be configured some kind of fake or malicious proxy server because it's enforced. 
So let's enable this policy and configure it the way you want it to be configured. So if you don't use a proxy, you can keep it default uh, with the never use a proxy option. Obviously, if you use a proxy, then you should configure the proxy settings here. But like I said, even if you don't use a proxy, configure it here that you don't use a proxy. And it means it will be enforced in the web browser and proxy cannot be then configured manually. For preferences, we configure the update checks, the time between update checks. By default, it's 1400 minutes. I usually recommend changing it to 120 minutes, which is two hours. So then every two hours, updates will be checked. And if there are new updates, uh, the updates will be also automatically installed. Edge Web View is the component that's used in the system context and in many other applications. So if, a, if, if the operating system or some other application needs to render an HTML fi a file or any website, any web file, it typically uses the Edge Web View uh, component. So it's also very important to keep that updated as well. So we enable it and we can leave the default option here, which is always allow automatic updates. And the same we are actually going to configure also for the Edge application itself. So we just enable the policy and we can keep the default settings here. Of course, you can change it to manual updates or silent updates only or updates disabled if you want. But that was not the purpose of this video, because in this video, I wanted to encourage you to enable automatic updates of Microsoft Edge. There are other settings that you can configure. You can even specify a specific version of Microsoft Edge that you want to use in your environment. But that's usually recommended only for specific devices with some type of single purpose device that you really need to keep on a specific version of Microsoft Edge because of compatibility, for example. But for the regular population, for your normal end users, automatic updates should be enforced and the browser should be updated to the latest stable version always. So these are the four settings that you should configure. We can go next, next. And here we define the assignment. You can, of course, assign it to only a subset of users, but I usually recommend applying it to all devices. So I will go with all devices. And the last page is just the review of the setting that we have just configured. So we can click create. When I refresh it, you see Edge updates are now, now configured. With this setting, we configured Microsoft Edge updates for Windows operating system. I hope you liked the video. If you liked it, please like it, comment it. If you have any questions, reach out to me directly. If you like the video, please also share it with your peers, with your employees, with your colleagues, uh, with your partners, with your customers. Don't forget that I have also a weekly newsletter. Every weekend I publish a newsletter in the form of a podcast where I summarize everything that happened in the past week in the world of IT and cybersecurity. You can find the podcast on YouTube. You can find the podcast also on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. And in the meantime, don't forget also to follow my cybersecurity world blog, my personal LinkedIn, and also my Twitter, where I regularly publish news, updates, tips, and tricks. That's really all from my side for today. And I will see you next time.